Welcome back to VBTeacher.com for section 6 of the breakout project. Thank you for programming along. Well, here we go again. Let's make a few more changes to our breakout program to make it just a little nicer and smoother and easier to use and uh, add a few features. Uh, first of all, uh, let's give a, let's add a few controls to uh, let's take a few controls away from the user with regards to uh, changing the program when it's running. Some of the properties of the form that you can actually change that are nice to keep control of uh, is, among other things, the ability to resize the form. If you don't, ha if you have a game that has a fixed format, you may not want to have it resized. Um, the way one way to do that is to, to change the form border style to fixed single and then of course they can still minimize and maximize that we don't want to take away their ability to close it so let's turn off the maximize and the minimize buttons and now when they run it the only button they have at the top for the form is to be able to uh, uh, close it so basically they can play the game until they lose and then if they want they can close the form and that's all they have to do so now they can't resize the form at all if you try to resize it Let's try to resize it this time. If we grab that corner, it just doesn't go anywhere, so uh, it's just not there. So all it can do now is, is close the form. Okay. Secondly, uh, let's go into the code a little bit, and uh, we can clean up the array a little bit. First of all, uh, let's give it a little bit of a checkerboard design. Um, the way we can do that is to color all of the on the odd numbered rows one, three, five, seven, and nine, or whatever to color all the odd numbered bricks and all the even numbered rows to color all the even numbered bricks or vice versa whichever the case is one simple way to get that is this way uh, if the sum of the row plus the column for any brick that you have uh, divided by two mod does the division and reports back the remainder if the remainder of dividing by two is zero then it's an even number then we'll paint those one color um, let's do the red that way so if they're uh, if that comes out even, then that's red, and then we'll do an else, and then uh, we'll do the other color is white. So you can do any color you want here. White. Okay, so that's in there now, and the other thing we can do is get rid of that 3D effect, those rounded corners and all that. So we can do b dot flat style is a property that allows you to change that appearance equals flat style flat. So now let's run this thing and see what it looks like and that's pretty nice we have a form that we can change and it's got a cute little game on it and uh, we can play it and it has a nice red and white checkerboard design on the top and uh, that looks good okay next uh, we need to add some uh, s I think we need to add some scoring and uh, a couple of things we can do there first of all let's uh, let's enable the scoring by uh, putting some numbers in each brick um, inside each brick there is a little place in there a property that you can use for something like this called the tag property and the tag property can be we can just store the row number in it that way the the row number the top row can be eight points and the next to the top row seven down to the bottom row which is one and uh, we can get that from the rows minus the row number the top row is row zero when you create these and so if we take eight rows minus row zero that'll give us eight for the top row and so on so we'll do this b dot tag equals rows minus r and that will give us the uh, correct layout now just to check this out we can show these b dot text equals um, b dot tag and we'll show these just one time b dot back uh, for color equals color gray We'll run that to see what they look like, and here we go. And there we go. We can kind of see that they're there. They're a little big, and it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Can't really see them on this small of a, a form, but that's that's correct. And so we can see that they do work. Okay. So that can be taken out now. The text and the four color can be removed. We don't need those in there. And uh, now. Uh, we have a, a number that can be obtained from each brick as we hit it. Let's uh, accumulate the score in a variable, uh, dim uh, score as integer equals zero. And then each time we uh, change the each time we hit a brick, we're going to add the tag properties score to that. 
And here we have the check brick routine. This is where we find out if we have check if we have hit a brick. Down at the bottom we check we have a flag every time we hit a brick. And so we're going to add a little bit to this right here. And we can put this brick visible equals false inside there. And then right in there after that, we can say score, take the old score, plus equals, and then add the brick tag property. And that will add one for the bottom row and two for the second row and so on. And now we need a place to put it. We'll come back here in a minute and fix that. Uh, let's add a, a label to our form. A label here in the uh, just an ordinary label. And that sits up at the top. And uh, let's see if we can. We should be able to dock that at the top. And um, let's do the auto size false. So now it fits all the way across. And uh, so the auto size is false, so you can see this thing goes all the way across the screen. Let's change the font so that we can see it nice and easily. So size of 14, bold, Arial, nice big font up there. And then let's set the four color to uh, white so we can see it. Now you can see that doesn't quite fit, so let's make that fit. There we go. So the label shows up up there in big bold letters. And now finally we need to go into the text align and set that to top center. And let's give that label a name like label message. You could use label one, it doesn't matter. So now label message is at the top of the screen. Let's get rid of its text property. We don't need any text to begin the program. And now go back into our uh, form. And every time we change the score we say label message. dot text equals score to string and that will show the score as we play. Okay now there's one more thing we could do with that label message now. Uh, on the time when we do hit the bottom of the brick, bottom of the screen, um, up here on the mouse move, on the uh, timer tick, when we do hit the bottom of the screen, there it is, check bottom of the screen, Right now we're using that message box. We can just change this to do a uh, label message. Label message text equals uh, game over. We'll get rid of the you lose. Game over. And uh, right now that's going to be it. We'll have to restart. We don't have our restart routine going here yet. But uh, now let's run it and see what it looks like. And so we've got some things going on here. We have a score at the top. When we hit the bottom, we have game over. It looks very good. We cannot resize it, but we can close it. So there is a little, a few more features, and I think we'll stop there for now, and we'll come back in a little bit and uh, add some commands to make the game larger and to give the game the ability to restart, which we still haven't done. Thank you for programming along with us.